I am floored that I have to make another video on this. I'm gobs gobsmacked at this point that it just hasn't stopped yet, and I'll do it throughout the whole time I'm throughout the whole time that this is happening. So here, um, okay. We'll read Vic's part first, and let's hope my friend doesn't call me first. Or let's hope my friend calls me soon so that we can both do this. Um, words cannot express the depth of my gratitude and all the kindness and support that, that has been shown shown to me over the last few weeks. I've, I've hoped that, that my apologies and acknowledgement, both public and private, have would, it, would be received, but I have now very, very reluctantly uh, retained a law firm as, as my last and only re resource to attempt to salvage my reputation and my 20 year career. My friends express, my friend, a friend expressed the desire to set up a GoFundMe page for legal, for legal expenses. I approve. I approved his kind, I approved his kind offer and I am so grateful, but I, I am not managing it, nor will I personally receive any of it. Any surplus will go to the Salvation Army Dal Salvation Salvation Army's. It should be Salvation Ar Salvation Army Dallas Domestic Violence and Abuse Shelter. I hold no malice towards anyone. I just love my work and the fans, and sincerely wish to continue. Then here comes Monica. Um, first, please know that I've tried to address his. I I I've tried to address his behavior with him. I'm the kind of friend that will tell you when you have food in your teeth. And I, and I was tired of people talking about him behind his back. How would, how would he change if he didn't know his behavior was wrong? Each time he would apologize, then be back at it within weeks. The studio should be began to stop working with him. The studio slowly began to stop working with him, not just because of the sexual, but because he was difficult to work with. I'm gonna call bullshit with this. Um, uh, na, 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 where was I? Sexual harassment, just because he was difficult to work. He, even though he had a huge fan following, the, began looking elsewhere. Whenever he he saw me, he would take a fistful of my hair, pull my head back, and either whisper so closely to my ear that his lips were touching, or kissing my cheek or not. That this is an unusual, unusually done, usually done in front. This was usually in the front of, fan, of fans or colleagues, so I would, so I had to be very careful about how I reacted to it. I didn't even realize it, how inappropriate it was, because he he did he did it to so many people. I've witnessed it happen, just as others have witnessed it happen to me. Colleagues and fans in the mid 2000s, there were we were at a convention together. Together, he grabbed me and kissed me in the hotel room. I fond you. You may wonder why I didn't yell or scream or push him away. I was scared. Why? Because I was raped as a teenager, and here comes that I'm doing this because I was raped as a teenager thing. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, you were raped as a teenager. Okay, you are an adult now. You are a perfectly strong adult now. Who is willing... Okay. If you are willing to tell your fans that you're going to have them thrown in fucking jail because they criticize you, you you are 20 or no, 30, 35, 40 almost. I don't know how old you are. You've been working since the 90s, right? I think. Yeah, about since the 90s, at least that's what your bio says. Um, you couldn't... You couldn't gently punch him in the face. You could not punch him in the face. Okay, most of the women I know, if he tried that, would punch him in the face so hard that he wouldn't have teeth or a face left. So, and don't, and don't, fans of hers, don't come and say that I'm calling her a liar just because I don't like her. I'm calling, I'm not even calling her a liar. I'm saying I just don't believe her. Okay? I believe that she was raped at, at as a teenager. Okay, I will always believe that, even if it really wasn't true, even if it's find out, found out not to be true. I really need to get rid of these broken uh, earphones that I have on the chair that next to me. Um, but, okay, but why? Because I was raped as a teenager. I learned that, I learned that sometimes fighting back makes it worse. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. 
yes, fighting back does make it worse, but if you don't fight back, it looks a certain way to some people. Some judges will won't ju- will refuse to just charge someone, especially since uh, I'll explain that later. Um, I was raped as a teenager, and I learned da, 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 da. because he asked me to watch a video. I trusted him because he was my friend. Not only that, but he was dating my friend M- Mitchell. I don't know who that is, and I had been fur- flirt Mitch M- my. Whatever her friend's name is, and I had been flirting with my soon-to-be boyfriend at the convention all week. After that experience, I distanced myself from him. Unfortunately, Michael as well. I felt incredible guilt, e- even though I I hadn't done anything wrong. I I went to therapy. I work I worked on my forgiveness. I chose to forgive him for what he had done. Maybe it was just me, or maybe. It was just a one-time thing, never to repeat again. You, you can imagine my devastation when I learned that it wasn't the only, I that I wasn't the only one, and it ha- and it happened to my colleagues. Worse yet, convention of teddies. I'm gonna call bullshit. I- I'm sorry. All the picture messages, ha- okay. All picture message, all pictures and messages that are being passed around were taken at the press event premiere. For Broly, the movie December and about and about two weeks after that, three of my closest friends came forward. Then these friends shared their stories with me. I was heartbroken. How could this happen to three of my closest friends without me even knowing? As more people came forward, I began to see similarities. I shared my testimony with it with the investigators solely because uh, corroborated with other testimony. I, I didn't start this. I have nothing to gain from it. I didn't steal anyone's roles or titles. The stuff you're, you're hearing on YouTube is all lies and attempts to create drama and get subs views. I'm, I'm perfectly content with being just a voice actor. The investigations were incredibly thorough. Each person was investigated, the evidence weighed, the decisions made, each company had to took out the sit had to look out for the safety of the port. In this sense, these companies felt that they, it was the best decision to protect their employees and, and contract workers. Also, the companies were obliged to share any information with you. Actually, yes, they are. That's the problem with cases like this. Okay. I've looked, I've looked at both sides of this, and I've... And I'm going more for Vic, because it's not even because I like Vic, but he... But... He seems like he's honest enough to, if he was to do something like this, he would turn himself in right away. And the fact that he hasn't turned himself in right away prove, either proves that he didn't do anything wrong, or that, or that there is just something more to this than, than just this woman. I, I wouldn't even dare call her a girl. This woman. It's not even a bad thing to call her a woman. This woman... Monica Rial, this person here, say all this stuff, and I haven't heard of anybody else coming out like this. What all you're saying, I feel like, is is lying, really. It, and it's not even just me being an asshole. It's just me wondering why this had to happen during the Broly movie. This could have come out years later. This could have come out after the Broly movie was out of theaters. You could have done this anytime. But anyway, the investigation is a third attack. A, um, information with you. Many women who have come forward have chosen to remain anonymous, especially after seeing the way I've been attacked. Bullshit. You weren't attacked, okay? Criticism and attacking are two totally different things. Learn the fucking difference. Okay, this pisses me off when people play that card. Especially after I've been attacked. I read most of the comments on the shit. And she deleted most of those fucking tweets also. So, I mean, why should I believe her when she's deleted and deleted and deleted all this stuff? And... And I I feel like... Yeah. Um... I feel like okay, you're you're gonna lie and cheat and do all this stuff, 
but I, okay, let's just finish reading. I didn't want to come forward on Twitter, but I felt like I had to do something because my friends' lives, children's careers were being threatened. Also, I knew if I didn't, there was going to be a very good chance that it would be swept under the rug again. I don't feel like there was anything here. I feel like you're 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 throwing maneuver manure over the wall and then people are throwing it back at you and you're and you're yelling mediocrity and it's like fuck you just fuck you and yes you can tell I'm getting more pissed as I read this I apologize for lashing out and threatening fans I didn't want to have to take people to court or send law enforcement after them but I was doing what I felt was necessary that is still not an excuse for you threatening people okay okay no um, well, uh, no, 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 uh, I, to protect myself at the time, there is a watch list I have, the names and numbers of multiple harassers, and I'm willing to forgive you if you stop this madness out. You may feel that, that my colleagues and I have been harsh. Now, let me ask you that, how would you respond if your life was being threatened? If your lives, of your loved ones, your friends, your, your friends, your friends, your friend's children, sorry, were, were being threatened. If your address, address, if your address and phone numbers were being passed around like candy so these people could call or drop, drop by to antagonize you, I'm gonna call bullshit, people. First of all, you're a fucking, you're famous. People do that shit all the time. Come on. It's Hollywood here. Um, don't like it, leave. Um, if you're addressing phone numbers... You're being passed around like candy, so people could call drop you and antagonize, or, or drop by and antagonize it. it. If the local authorities made sure to drive past your house, if the made sure to, to make sure you were okay, if you were forced to be on the phone with various law enforcement and lawyers every single day, if you were trying to get figured out just because you you came forward with the truth, if you were doxxed because people think it's fun to attack those who are hurting. This is not because you are hurting. Anymore? No, no, no more after this. I've always stood... Be, oh, wait. Because you are hurt. Yeah, it says hurting, right? Oh. I've stood... I've always stood by this community. I have loved the anime fandom from the moment I went to my first convention. And to be threatened by this, by the community I love, really hurts my heart. Recently, I recently stood up for the Dragon Ball fan who, who have the community... who. And to have that community come back and attack me mercilessly. Maybe you shouldn't have fucking done this. I don't give a fuck who you are. Maybe you shouldn't fuck have fucking done this right after his big role as Broly. Okay? He made Broly an interesting character. You were in the movie for five, ten minutes, I think. Who cares? If you were in that one and you didn't get enough money. And that's what most of the fans feel like. You didn't get enough money, so you're pissed. And that's how we feel. It's nothing against you. We don't hate you. Okay? Uh, necessarily, I don't like you because I feel like you're a horrible voice actress. But, you know. Splitting hairs at this point. But, um, community come back and attack me versus... It was incredibly painful. I can't even express. I have never said anything hurtful towards Vic or any of his fans. Oh! <laughs> scrolls back to... T okay. Um, scrolls back to tweet. Um, I don't want to ruin his life. He was... Slash is a friend. I don't want to see him labeled as a predator for his life. I want him to get help. And realize that his actions are hurting many people. What actions? He hugs people. He asks. He asks people f before he hugs them. What the fuck is wrong with you? You need help also. Every everyone around you needs help also. All, how about all of you go to a all all of you go to a fucking collective therapist together. All of you could sit on that fucking long ass couch they have, and you can all talk about it. Okay. Grow up. You say you don't want to ruin his life, but then you guys do this. There's a... There, just no. No. Okay. If he takes those steps better, then maybe perhaps I'll be willing to forgive him. 
I'm tired of fighting, I'm tired of the threats, I'm tired of all of it. From here on, I will only be posting positive and light, and threats of retaliation will be met with an immediate block. I'm not wasting any more time on this matter. It's over. I've been incredibly di- it's been incredibly difficult for everyone involved. Please be kind to one another. You know what? I think after that, I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt with, with these first two, but this last one right here, where you said it is a friend, no. You, no actual friend, and no, I'm not watching this, the Kylie Kobe Jones, I don't even know who the fuck this person is. Um, I turned the anime into English, who the fuck are you? Um, oh, yeah, you're, you're a person. But, okay, everything that's happening to Vic right now is disgusting. I, I, I love... All these guys, all of these guys are part of my childhood. But to see them do this to Vic makes me never want to watch My Hero Academia again. Never want to watch Dragon Ball again. I don't really watch Ruby, but never watch Ruby. This all makes me not want to watch these shows. Okay, I am, I'm going to end the video here, and I'm going to upload this, and I'm sorry if I sounded like I'm pissed. It's because I am. It's because I'm disappointed, the fact that they're not being, because that Vic is being the only adult in this. That Vic, someone who is, who, who has lost already so much in this whole bullshit fiasco, and could lose more just because people want to be hateful is sad and it pisses me off and it sickens me. I'm sorry. Goodbye, kinfolk. Watch the video. Watch my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. I'm out now.